just talk about the pallet yard. You know, this is where we keep all your pallets, all the kegs, and all the waste pallets and stuff. So if you guys keep this organized, it's going to be a lot easier on you. You know, so just kind of blame the next guy or leave it for the next shift or whatever. Everything goes 20 high here. All the pallets stack 20 high. You know, and just finish it. Finish stacking up to 20 and then start in front of that, the next stack. You know, it's, it's pretty basic, but a lot of people don't want to play along. And then over here, you got KD pallets. 12 pack pallets do not go there. They're too long. You know, and we send these pallets back to the vendor, so uh, just the ones, you know, just, just park the KD pallets there. Uh, 12 pack pallets and loose pack pallets do not go there. Slip sheets and frames. Okay, so the slip sheets are top heavy. So we never want to, you know, have much higher than half weight. Uh, yeah, we've been doing a lot of slip sheets, frames, slip sheets, frames. But then I gotta come out and reorganize everything. So please, for the love of God, follow along. Also, the uh, the banding when you guys band them. See those bands be as far out, as far out to the edge of the pallet as they can be to give it more stability. International pallets and loose pack. So here are the red, blue, and plastic pallets. The red and the blue wooden pallets are what we use for loose pack. And we can also use them for international. But for bottles, the best way to go international is with plastic. So, if you, know, if you guys want, grab the plastic. We're going to be happy about that. All right? And then, of course, you have this area over here designated for the garbage pallets. Um, 12 pack pallets go over here and uh, broken boards and stuff like that. Recycle bins are picked up every, well, early every. Tuesday morning and Friday morning. So you guys want to make sure to have them over here or they don't get dumped and we're screwed. Right, so this is where they go, right over here in this effed up area. Walk through, through the warehouse. So immediately you see a, a POS rack directly in front of you that you need to avoid. And to the left are all the staging rows. Those are to be used for staging. Please do not put product there when you run over your whatever you have in your row. And we have the long rows on the right. Most of these come out to 72 pallets or 12 pallet spots. Over here on the left, these are called two spot rows. This is for overflow. So you can put overflow right here if you have it. On the right, right here, we have the one spot rows. These are reserved for anything less than four pallets. So you can use those. Back here you have the hops area. These rows here are designed to go seven pallets deep or 42 pallets total. To the left, we have the IPA keg rows. And on the right, we have the four spot rows. Really important that you guys don't go over the allotted, you know, product per row, because then it interferes with warehouse operations. This row right here should only come out three pallet spots because of that electrical cabinet. Here we have four spot rows that are coming out five spots. That's wrong. On the right, you have three spot rows. All right up until past this little driveway here. Right up and including these two spots here, one, two. After that, they turn into two spot rows so that we can get at the five spot rows that are over here. And then you have a library right over there. So on the right, we have one spot rows. We usually put the kegs here. On the left,
left, you got four spot rows. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. On the right, these are, this first row goes uh, nine spots, 50, 54 pallets. This next one goes one more, so it's 60 pallets. And then we have two rows that are 66, or 11 spots. And then the 72, uh, 72 pallet rows. Over here, in our partial area, please, when you guys bring partials over here, combine them with the existing partials, you know, just the top layer. We don't expect you guys to repalletize an entire pallet, but, you know, I mean, we have to get at these racks. So, anyway. On the left, we have the 10 spot rows. And on the right, we have more partials on racks. These racks are designed to hold entire pallets on the second and top shelf. The middle shelf, they could go uh, four layers high. So, um, only warehouse personnel should be going through that curtain right there. Uh, the production guys all need to come in, kegs and bottles and hops and everybody else should be coming through this door right here. Enter and exit through this door. Thanks you guys. Hope you enjoyed my little tour.